Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you how I created this animation of this bottle. We are going to model, adding some textures, adding some light and animation. This is a video with two parts, so this first video I'm only going to show you how I model it and textured this. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to add our reference, so I'm going to go in here and do X, X, so I am in this view. Shift A, let's select reference, align it with the Y axis, so G, Z. Click your image, go in here, here in this icon, image icon, click opacity and lower this number. I'm going to add a circle, so shift A, mesh, and I'm going to add a circle. Tab to go to edit mode, G, E to extrude, and Z to go up, G again in Z, around here is good. And now I'm going to add some uh, edge loops, so Control R or Command R for Mac. And it's important for you to be at wireframe, so you select also the ones that are in the back. So I'm going to scale this down, so S to scale it down. And maybe around here, it's good. And now I actually want another loop, so Control R. But now I'm going to add another loop in here. I'm going to scale this one down in here and scale it. And I want maybe another one in here. As well, what I'm going to do is select this top one and I'm going to extrude it so E and Z to go up. And so I'm going to fill this, so click F and it's going to fill. Oh, so let me just fill this one as well. So uh, Alt and click and F, Control 1. Or if you want, you can go to the modifiers in here and add a subdivision surface. This is looking a bit weird. I'm going to shade smooth as well, Alt and click, and I'm going to click. Click E, maybe one in here and another one again. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And I am actually going to do G and Z to go a bit inwards. Click E again and inwards again. But this still looks kind of weird. I don't really like this shape much. I'm going to add some bevel in here. So I'm going to click two to go to edge. In or you click in here, control B to bevel it just a tiny bit. Maybe, so I want to select this and control B to bevel it. And now you just have to fix the shape if you want. I think mine, it's, it's pretty okay. I want to fix this one in the bottom, like so. Okay, so now this is good to me. Now let's uh, model our cap. So for that, I want another circle. So shift A circle, I'm going to leave it at 58. And now I'm going to G, Z to go up, tab to go to tab. One to go to vertex mode, align this so in here it's good. Now E Z to extrude up. Now E Z to extrude again. And now play close attention because E right click and scale. And now I'm going to extrude it. And now E right click again, scale it down. And now E and Z again. And now Control R. So we have another edge loop and a small one in here. And so now what I want to do is go to face mode by clicking three, select all of this, right click, subdivide it. So two to go to edge mode, alt, click in here, X, dissolve edges, and now go to three face mode again, select all of this, go E to go inwards. And probably it's not going to uh, be like this, it's going to be like that, but you have to check individual and now Alt E, extrude along normals. I'm going to control one, left click, shade smooth, and go to tablet mode again. Let's add some edge loops. So control R, an edge loop in here. So it holds our shape and another one in here. Select this and select this. And now control B to bevel it just a bit. 0 0.05 maybe. Go to face mode by clicking three, Alt, Left click, Alt E, extrude the long faces and go inwards. Select this by Alt, left click in here, Alt, left click in here, in here, and in here. And in here, if you're not seeing this, click N, it's going to appear, item, main crease, and select all the way to one. If you give one when you are using a subdivision surface, it's not going to affect your edge. So it's going to be sharp. Select this, F to fill it, E, go inwards just a tiny bit, and then again, in here, select this one, F to fill this, E to go in, X and face. We don't need to face, adds an edge loop in here. Okay, and now see, yes, it's fine. 
I don't like degrees in this one, so I'm going to select this one and actually go back to zero and maybe bevel it. So control B and bevel it. Yes, it looks better. And this is it. This is our bottle modeled. And now we need to add some materials. So let's do that. I already created the materials, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So what I want to do actually is create a label. So I'm not going to duplicate the body of our bottle. I'm going to actually do a new object. So shift A and go to circle and 58 tab mode one to go on vertex and scale it. And now extrude it. Shift click shader smooth. It's still too small, so scale it a bit more. Shift Z. And I want to do one last thing, which is adding a modifier, which is going to be the solidify. Yes, like this looks okay to me. Now this is looking weird. Maybe our normals are not right. So all go to tab mode A to select everything and shift N. And now our normals are calculated correctly. And you see now we need to add some seams to this so we can unwrap and actually put our label in the correct um, place. So I'm going to go in here and select this one. So two to edge mode, Alt, left click and shift alt left click in here and i'm going to go in here behind here and shift click here and now right click and mark sim okay so this is good and i'm going to add a new tab in here so i see what i'm doing i do have already my label in here what i want to do is a u uv unwrap and now i need to rotate this and g move it around here i need to scale it to our old bottles and G move it in here. Okay, so now that we have our label in place, we need to create the materials for the cap and for the actual bottle. I'm going to show you in here what I have. I just used a black material with the roughness really low and the speckler is a bit lower as well. And I just added a bit of noise, like really, really small, as you can see, like 0 0.001 and 0 0.1 in the distance and really big noise, okay? And for our cap, it's actually exactly the same, but our roughness, it's not so low. And I didn't touch in the specular in here, it's at the default value. And the bump, it's bigger because I actually want to see, as you can see in here, I want to see these bumps. And now if you see it in the render, this is how our render is looking. The label, it's going to be in the description down below for you to download it. And so in the next tutorial, I'm going to actually teach you how to light this and how I animated the lights and also the bottle and everything else. So yeah, I hope to see you in the next tutorial.